special tribute to Pastor Bill tonight. And I know you've seen some of the things from the Holy Land on that footage right there. And I'm going to do some music just tonight of the Holy Land. They love the Jewish music. So, Pastor Bill, if you're looking over the portals tonight, this is for you. Oh, they rush on the city. They run on the wall. Great is the army that carries out his word. They rush on the city. They run on the wall. Great is the army that carries out his word. The Lord utters his voice before his army. The Lord utters his voice before his army. Oh, the trumpet in Zion, Zion, sound the Rush on the city, they run on the wall. Great is the army that carries out his word. They rush on the city, they run on the wall. Great is the army that carries out his word. The Lord utters his voice before his army. The Lord utters his voice. the word of God out of John 1 and 1. He loved the word of God. Mm. It's a scripture song that he loved. Mm. Oh, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall Help 
me sing it now. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up, yes, with wings as eagles. They shall Aren't you glad that he is more than enough? We're in the last half hour, and if you've got a prayer request you want us to be praying over, get on the phones, give us a call. I want to go over some more of the uh, calls that have come in tonight, uh, referencing Pastor Bill. Joanne called and said she had enjoyed uh, Bill and Ann's ministry for years, and they will definitely be missed. Margaret said Bill and Ann's ministry touched her in many ways, and Bill is going to really be greatly missed. Uh, uh, Faye called in and said that uh, Bill's uh, ministry was always a blessing to her. Here's another person's called in and uh, said that uh, been watching and following uh, uh, Bill's ministry for many years, he and Ann, and that uh, they uh, really touched her heart and is really missing them. Uh, said, here's one that said, uh, uh, always been a blessing to, to them, Bill and Ann has, and that uh, they had such a sweet spirit and really touched their lives. Uh, here's one talking about our prayer partners, how they're going to really miss Bill because Bill and Ann's ministry touched them. Uh, Dorothy called in and said that uh, uh, Pastor Bill and Ann were such a blessing to her and just wanted to let everybody know that. Uh, here's uh, some prayer requests now that have come in tonight. Uh, please pray for my daughter, 19 years old, going through a bout with depression and anxiety. And we just lift her up right now and speak peace into her body because our Lord is the peace speaker. Uh, here's one that uh, says, having problems in my neck, needing a touch from the Lord. Uh, here's someone that fell and broke a bone uh, in their foot, needing a touch from the Lord. So many needs, but again, we serve a God that's more than able to provide in each and every situation. Uh, please pray for my husband and daughter. Uh, medical problems there, and we do lift them up right now in Jesus' name. And someone that's looking for open doors for a job, and again, God can provide that for you right there. You know, it's good to know when you go to the Father, He always hears. And he does answer prayer. Let's go to Gwen. Thank you, Wayne. Here's a, a note from Scott and Alice McCall. Pastor Bill Kreitzer was a beloved part of the WGGS family. In his jovial manner, he would often tease and joke with us. Oh, yes, he would. We were blessed by his friendship and always knew that he cared. Bill was a reliable and dedicated Nightline host who was always ready to minister here at the station, even on short notice. As a gifted teacher, he revealed spiritual truth and reached many people with the gospel through his ministry. We will always remember Bill and Ann's impact on our lives and their great love for people and the Lord. Scott and Allison McCall. 
And then from our prayer partners and all of our healing team, we, our healing services, we were so blessed to have known Bill Kreitzer. He was a powerful man of God and a great teacher. So many lives were touched by his ministry. He was a blessing to each one of us here at WGGS and will never be forgotten. And that's the truth. He won't. And over here tonight is some of his church family. I'm telling you, I'm so blessed to have them. And I'm so blessed to have them as a part of our healing team here at WGGS where we've been doing healing services for five years now or better. But I want you to make welcome Sam and Nancy and Jackie, precious, precious sisters in the Lord. And so I'm just going to start with Sam. Sam, what did Pastor Bill mean to you? Well, he... If it wasn't for him, I don't know where my family would be today because he was the only person that God connected us with that really knew the, the depth of the Word of God. Yeah. And, you know, the Word is what saves us, mm -hmm. not just for spiritually, but in every way. And uh, he, he was so faithful. He came and did a Bible study in our home for several years over in Seneca. And it was just a blessing. Everybody looked forward to Thursday night because Bill was coming yeah. <laughs> to teach. And it just, he, he probably saved our family. And he said often about you all that y'all were called intercessors. So I'll just tell you. <laughs> and said, we have to have our intercessors praying back here. <laughs> Miss Nancy, you know that's the truth. Absolutely. How, how did they impact your life? How well, they, they turned my world upside down. And the Lord took me there out of the Baptist church. And as I said, it turned my world upside down. And affected my family and it's, it's just been awesome. It's been wonderful. It changed me all over. And I learned a lot from Pastor Bill. I saw him go through a lot of trials and tribulations. And even when he was first in the ministry, I'm sure you probably know this, but uh, he and his brother both uh, got together uh, to break the generational curse of heart problems off of their family. Did you know that? No. Well, nobody had lived to be very old in his family. Wow. And so when he came into the full gospel and he began to le learn and study, then he saw, well, hey, we got a problem. We need to do something about it. And so they got together and they did that. Wow. And then he brings that into the congregation and he mm -hmm. teaches us how to stand in the gap, not only for ourselves, but for our family and for our friends and just different ones. Just... Everywhere you go, there's an open door. There's a ministry. If you've got a heart of a servant, there is always a ministry out there. How many years? How many years? Since the early 80s. How about you? And I was there 25. Jackie, what about you? Oh, 30. Huh? 30. 30 years. Also. How, how, did they, how did they, Pastor Billy, impact your life? Well, <laughs> Pastor, <laughs> really, he showed me who... God really was. Yeah. I and uh, I was searching for more of the Father. Mm -hmm. And actually, the Father led me to Pastor Bill and Pastor Ann. Yeah. And from then on, I could receive from them everything that they were saying. It just opened me up, opened my heart up. I was touched. Uh, he was such a joyous man to you hear me. He knew the word and he wanted you to know the word. And when I first uh, started at Freedom, one thing he wanted everyone to do was learn the 91st Psalm by heart. <laughs> That's a good one. I pray that over my kids. <laughs> And, and that, that, was, that was what he wanted new members to do, learn the 91st Psalm. Th this was this was him right there. And then, too, he was a prayer warrior. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, he, we used to fast and pray and come to the church and bring our uh, sleeping bags and spend the night, get up in the morning, go to work, whatever, come back the next day, fast all day, come back the next day, do the same thing, get up and pray at night. I... Wow, it, it's it, awesome. It was awesome. And then we had prayer at 6 o'clock in the morning for at least two years. Every morning we'd come to the church, everybody come to the church and pray. Then you'd go on to work, 
and you come back and do the same thing the, <laughs> the next day. Yeah. I'll tell you that fasting and prayer, what they taught us to do, it made a difference. It impacted your lives. It made such a difference. It, that's that's mm -hmm. what Jesus told his disciple. And I'm sorry to cry, but when I see the three of you, I can see Bill and Ann in each one of you. It's like I'm sitting here looking at them. I mean, I know you're not their bodies, but the things. Well, you know, Gwen, the seed he sowed into you all. He, Pastor Born Bill in. taught us the word, yeah. and Ann mentored us in prayer. Well, yeah. you can't pray if you don't know the word. You can't. You can't be effective in yeah. prayer. You've got to know what your covenant yeah. says. Mm -hmm. And he taught us mm -hmm. what the co our covenant says. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then Ann mentored us in prayer. They were such a team. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm but, so thankful. But I can't, I can't even look at you all now <laughs> without thinking, okay, this is a part. This is, oh, yeah. this is the, mm -hmm. the fruit. Can I use that? Yes. The seed was planted, mm -hmm. and you're the fruit, so you've got to carry on. And so mm -hmm. that really, you know, I know that they both wanted us to continue on the healing services. But when I think about those healing services, I think about how important it mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. for you all yes. to be a part mm -hmm. because the seed of what he mm -hmm. taught mm -hmm. and what she knew how to pray, mm -hmm. is, is in you all. <laughs> it is, and I would say that Pastor Bill brought the Word of God to life. He did. He did. He, he presented the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. He drew you with that love, mm -hmm. and he yes. demonstrated that love. And about Ann and her prayer life, when I first went to the church, I said, well, I need to get busy. I need to get in that prayer room. And so I asked somebody, I said, where's the prayer room? They said, you cannot go in the prayer room just yet. I said, what do you mean? He said, if you haven't been through Ann's class, you don't go in the intercessory prayer room. So I found out what I had to do, and I had to sit under her teaching and learn what it meant to be an intercessor. Now, everybody prays, but there is a difference when you're called to be an intercessor. Oh, yeah. And Ann, Ann really did a great job teaching us. She and I on the phone mm -hmm. did a lot of praying. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, we went through a real storm with one of our children. And there were many times I called mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said, we've got to pray. I can't mm -hmm. even tell you. The other day, mm -hmm. I... Something had happened. I said, oh, I can't even pick up the phone now and call in. She's not there. You know, she's, she's graduated. She, her work here is done, and she's having a time of her life. But, you know, you don't want just anybody to pray for you. No. I don't know how you all no. feel about that, but I want somebody that knows how to tap in. Mm -hmm. I want somebody that knows the Word, mm -hmm. that knows how to stand on the Word. Mm -hmm. I want somebody that will say, hey, I'll fast with you concerning this. We'll see God through it. God will see us through it. And you know what? You all are so blessed and highly favored today. We know that. Because of the seed that was sown in you. And now you're blooming and you're going to bloom even more. I know how you mm -hmm. all stood with him there in the last moments, you even walked out. Yes. I know yes. every bit of that. Mm -hmm. It's not gone undone before the Father. It was yeah. meant to be everything, you know. Mm -hmm. Would I bring him back? No. Yeah. Do I miss him? Oh, yeah, I miss him. Mm -hmm. I miss his word. And, you know, if the healing that he had, healing scriptures, you know, that he would, you know, he had them. For the people that would come to the healing services, it mm -hmm. wasn't just him just ministering the word. He left something. Mm -hmm. He right. left something. Right. In yeah. fact, I'd like to have an extra copy of that mm -hmm. myself. But Jackie, if you could say something tonight to our viewing audience right now. We've just got just a few minutes left before we go to Otis. He's, I'm letting him play out tonight. But what would you say to somebody that's watching that really needs an encouraging word? I would say the Lord is, he is real. He's alive, and the Word is alive. And I want to encourage you to just trust in Him. Trust in His Word. Believe in it. 
And if, if there's anyone out there sick, his word says, by the stripes of Jesus, yes. you were healed. Yeah. Believe that. Receive it. Receive all that God has to give. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. And, and it will be done unto you. Yes. Just believe. Yes, amen. Tonight, many of your calls that have come in, many of your requests that come in, I'm going to ask you just to join hands with one another. There is power in agreement. And there's a young child that needs a miracle. God is able. There are you, there are those of you right now that's watching from hospital rooms, know that God is able to do abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. Everything is in the Father's hands. Yes. We all have an appointed time. We all know that. But till he comes, we're going to occupy. Mm -hmm. We're going to go mm -hmm. forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, believe in God for you, for your family to be saved, for souls to be turned around, lives to be turned around. This is not by chance. This is exactly what Pastor Bill would have wanted this night. Just know mm. that you're being prayed for. And Father, right now, as we join our faith one with another and with Wade over there, we believe tonight for miracles, signs and wonders. We believe tonight for turnaround in marriages. Lord, that you're healing marriages. Lord, we believe for that child that's so sick that needs a, a miracle tonight. We believe for the grieving family that lost the three members, family members up there in our area, the two sons and the father. Mm. Father, we lift up those families this night. When, when they hurt, we hurt. And Father, so we join our faith one with another right now, thanking God for your miracle, thanking God for your breakthrough, thanking God that that young person is coming off those drugs in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name, thanking God right now that marriages is being restored, and we praise you for it in mm. Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen, amen. Amen. My really amen. good friend, Otis Forrest, happy birthday. I know <laughs> that you're watching. And I'm going to close tonight with him playing one of my very favorite songs, How Great Thou Art. Just know, Otis, we love you. Happy birthday. And we have your address and everything we've been showing through the program. So just know we're thinking about you tonight. Thank you, Scott Phillips, as well. Let's go to the song, How Great Thou Art. <laughs> 